All right, <laughs> I'm here. Uh, against my better judgment, uh, I'm going to give this a go tonight. Sorry for the late start. I, I've been just with been late all night, and um, I left my computer in a state of after update, so I had to get it all sort of going again. It's got an old rotational hard drive, so uh, it's got a lot of thrashing when it's first getting going. Probably should need to defragment it. Anyway, uh, um, I'm still we're still looking to uh, finish up the black wanna cutoff stuff uh, in the next two sessions. Not this one, but after this in eight, early April. So I need to get this done through tonight. So hopefully we can uh, see what we can you know get this uh, get this going in a reasonable amount of time. Um, these sets of these photos are going to almost entirely cover the pollen skill viaduct on the the Lackawanna cutoff. Um, this is located towards the uh, western end, not that far from the Delaware River. Um, I'm not sure if I have a milepost here. The guy who does the uh, um, let's see here uh, looks like it would be something around 70 miles 68 miles something like there uh let's just see if i have a quick just trying to give everybody a quick uh uh orientation before i get going so for those of you who don't know the old dl and w let's go to the wikimapia black line view the old uh the old main line sort of, you know, ducked and weaved across New Jersey. Um, you have the Morrison Essex down there. I think the Lackawanna is this one here. They come together, go through Dover, and the old main line would take this route where it would dive through Hapatcong, Hackett's Town, go to Washington and curve upwards um, along this route, and then finally reaching the Delaware River there. Um, it's quite a bit yeah, it's got a you know not a, not the fastest route, multiple tunnels, a lot of grades. Um, you can see on the terrain, it's just a lot of a lot. It's got to snake through all these ridges, so it it goes it's going with the grain of New Jersey down to Washington. Then it's got to find a way again to got one tunnel through that hill. Then it finds this little creek, cuts another tunnel right through there through this ridge. Oh, uh, that's the Mnunkachunk Tunnel. You can still visit it. I'm not sure if you can get through it there. Uh, it was... You could see it in the uh, the overhead. Yeah, it's like right there. Um, and then it would go up, the, finally it would hit the Delaware River. In the 1910s, they really wanted to eliminate that. And you can see, they just put a gash straight across uh, all of this, the, the remaining bit of New Jersey from... Uh, the Dover area, or effectively uh, Netcong, or uh, what is it, Port Morris, and you can just see that they just they just cut across the they cut up through the mountains and filled in the valleys all the way across. Uh, with the two, you know, uh, the the major things being the uh, the Pequist Valley fill right here, one of the largest railroad fills in the world, probably still, and then just. Right before it gets to the Delaware River, it had one little uh, one little pro it had to surmount had one issue surmounting this valley here over the Pollenskill Creek, I believe, and you can see they built uh, what was then the largest co um, concrete structure in the world, finished in 1910. Thousand something feet long, maximum height 115 feet, uh, seven arches. Uh, concrete, uh, reinforced concrete was the carbon fiber of its day. Uh, you're going from basically where, uh, a situation where, where masonry construction of railroad stuff was all you had, and now suddenly you could pour everything. And the DLNW went into reinforced concrete hard. They made everything out of reinforced concrete, like you're going to see. So anyway, um, I'd had a long history uh, visiting here. I was visiting this before it was cool. Um, well into the film era, I actually had my high school yearbook photo taken on one of the arches. And we'll get into how the, how the art system and stuff works. But um, we're just going to start up here at the top. Um, on uh, So I'm not sure what it is today. Um, the line was reduced to a single track at some point in the 60s. Um, and then it was finally lifted in the early 80s, bought by the state some point after. Uh, and then it's still to this day, it's uh, effectively just a right-of-way. But there is one um, 
cleared. You can see the, the, the ties are still there from the single track days. And then there's an ATV track. The ballast is still there. Um, etc. So here we are just looking uh, westbound across the bridge from um, from the eastbound side. This is not a great day. Uh, th when would this have been? This would have been early in the morning. So I would usually go on a ski trip. Um, we would go out. We would ski. It was just a Saturday, Sunday. So I was goes to go went out with my old Boy Scout troop. Um, and for a number of years, my dad was still an active adult leader, and they kept they they would people who had graduated recently, they'd keep them on on the adult roles. So I would go out, and um, it was nice because they would they had a church up there that they would stay at, so you didn't have to go get a hotel or anything. Um, we'd ski Saturday, you go, you sleep. And then the next day, you'd go out again, and you'd leave about 2 o'clock. Often, it was Super Bowl Sunday, so we had to get back. Um, when I was then in school, the way it would work was we wouldn't ski Sunday. We would just go to breakfast and then jet out of there um, in time to get me back at a reasonable time. And then my dad would have to drive back the three, in, the 3 hours, 45 minutes, all the way back from Connecticut to New Jersey. But on this thing, leaving from the Poconos... At about 8 a.m., we were able to get out here, um, you know, just for some photos. Since I had my sna you know, my snazzy new digital camera, about a year old but still new. So let's see how I'm gonna let's see how I'm gonna do this. Because previously I had n I had not done it in a in a way that I liked. Uh. Oh, that's right. Um, uh, I just posted photos of another thing, so I can see how this works. Of the uh, the Nicholson viaduct the other day, so I can see how I did the naming on that. It's gonna be all the way down at the bottom. Okay, that works. All right, make sure I'm spelling it right. That works. Once I get this going, we'll be able to pick up the speed a little bit. I'm definitely going to be uh, heading back there, um, so I need to make sure that I I have na I leave myself future namespace. Uh, and here we just have a a west um, a eastward view. Uh, again, you can just see how you get the the ATV trail um, weaves back and forth. Again, this would have been in 2023, so about three almost about three years ago to this. Um, about it's about three at three three years and three weeks ago. Or maybe three years in a month. How are we doing with these uh, sizes? Oh, that's way more than I needed. And I and, and like I said, I had been here before. I believe this is on top of the uh, the abutment. Um, so yeah, you can you can you can. There was a lot of um, this was uh, this was definitely the early days of urbex. Uh, today, this is very well, um, very notable. I don't know how many people come here. I don't know how. They're, I don't think they're trying to really secure it or chase people off. But I, I don't. I don't know what the, the, the deal is that now. But then it was. It was definitely more of a local uh, point of interest. You didn't quite have this. Um, you know, without the internet to really draw people, without drones. I, I don't know what it's like now. It, it's either there's either gonna be a ton of people there or there's gonna be no one because the cops are there. So I don't know what they try to do. 
but this is the I'm standing pretty much on top of the 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 eastern abutment box, looking um, north to the northwest. Uh, and here we have a view of the road and the valley. I believe it's not... You'd think it would be called the Paul and Skill Creek, but I think it's the uh, the Peakrest River. But let me see. Um, Interstate 80. Does it not tell me what, what stream this is? Uh, Google's not not great always about giving you names. You have to scroll along them until you hit it. Oh no, it's not Pequest. That's the other one. I'm sorry. Yeah, the Pequest is the other is the is the um, cut. Um, the road was built on or around. This is the uh, the va the peak. The Pollen Skill Valley was used by the Lehigh and Hudson River, I believe. Yeah, the, the Lehigh and Hudson River bridge line. Um, you can see that. Um, you can see it's sort of right of way. I think the bridge is gone now. Um, the Lehigh and Hudson River was one of those uh, what they called a bridge line that connected. Uh, New England with the, the sort of the coal and cement regions. Um, and it was mainly did transfer freight. So somewhere there, I think that's the old right of way. But anyway. And again, these aren't the greatest. It, it was very early in the morning. Oh, this is the a view f towards the water gap. I actually like that, despite even though it looks bad, um, the lack of leaves really let you see. Like in, in the summer, this is all just trees. It's all green. It looks nice, but you don't see any detail. You can't see what what's in under the trees. But here, um, you can you know, despite it being gray, you can definitely get a sense of the topology, the river, the roads, the uh, the grades. That's just the water gap all the way back there. Um, just another northern view of the valley. I'm not sure if these are designed to be photo stitched. I hope not. Uh, let's see what I did. Nah, I kept them separate. I think that's the big, whatever that mountain is. It's the ridge line. It's sort of like the like a Blue Mountain style ridge. In the east, we have a lot of ridge and valley topology in the foothills of the Appalachians or the Alleghenies. If I go here to the uh, to the which call it here, yeah. See, there's that ridge, and that ridge just juts all the way across Pennsylvania, goes all the way down past Harrisburg. Um, the it turn you know it so that's that's what we're looking at right there 
Now, these mountains have names. I don't know what the name of the ridge is. The, the specific mountain is Mount Tammany. My dad made me remember that at one point, but I've forgotten it. He, he loved the Water Gap area when he was a kid. Huh. Is that a pumped storage? Wow. It's pretty cool. I didn't know they had a pumped storage plant up there. Now you, yeah, the original cuts I had on these were awful. Uh, so, at uh, like I said, there's seven arches, each of them with a pier, a, a, two abutments and piers. The way I tend to do this is when we get to that point is I'll be numbering uh, this. So, it's sort of like piers from east to west, from railroad, railroad distance, the, you know, you have, uh, you know what I could do? I could do like pier A, pier B, pier C, and arch one, arch two. That's probably a better way to do it. But... The question is, is which which uh, which pier cap is that? Uh, I don't know. I could look around a little bit. Let's see if I can just. I know I'm looking something twenty years later. Um, not so. This is your abutment zone. It ends with a pier cap. I was walking this way, so I think it's going to be either pier A or pier B. I'm just not entirely sure. I think it's Pier B because there's a gap in the, I can see in the shadow that there's a gap in the railing. So this should be uh, Pier B top south side. It's a, it's, this would, uh, this would be that we consider a refuge for maintenance of way workers. That's the term when you have those little cutouts on bridges, either a platform or this sort of thing, it's called a refuge. Um, so if my estimations are correct, this would be on the order of arch, th uh, arch one, two, three, going westbound. This is one of those things where I'll figure out I'm all wrong. have to rename a bunch of things. Um, and again, here we have the other side of it. I don't... Is there a road on the both sides? Huh. Oh, that's not it. I must be looking the opposite way. Yeah. So I'm now looking back, I'm looking uh, in a southeastward direction. Uh, whenever I'm doing photos renaming, I'll either, if I know railroad distance, if I know, um, if I have railroad, uh, if, if, if railroad directionality applies, I'll say eastbound, westbound. Um, I don't, I don't, I, if there's no rail in a direction, I will not, nor, I will not say northbound or southbound if there's no rail there. So, that's where I would say, I'll say northward, westward, that's where I break into a cardinal direction. For people who actually care about how I name things, that's half of what I do here.
And now we have see this this see that see that that white that right streak that's the Lehigh and Hudson River right of way, and that's what you can see when you visit this in the winter. It's gross, but I mean there's just gray and brown, um, but that you can see the uh, the Lehigh that you can see that uh, right of way there. And here we have the valley um, in a more southwesterly view. And here we just have uh, a better view of the creek from above in a northern uh, north uh, northerly view. I'm gonna I'm gonna rotate this around because I already have photos of the the hill line. I want to get this there. That looks better. And here's a southward view of the creek. I don't know why. Oh God, I don't know what the heck I did here. I mean, I, I just I held the camera wrong. Um, maybe I can rotate the whole photo around a little bit better. I don't know what I can do to save this. This is just awful. That doesn't help. Ugh. Can't really do anything with it, so just me being irresponsible. Okay, what do we got? All right, that's the first bunch. All right, let's check if anyone has any questions. Oh, I mean, no, th th there's, there's, there's no need to, as you'll see, there's no need to either save or restore it. Um, it's going to be used in the passenger service. Um, there, there's no way you could take it down. It's, it's too well built. Um, I mean, like, again, there's, you'll, you'll see, there, there's, there's almost nothing anyone could do to, uh, to hurt this. I'm giving it away if you're looking. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Um, this does appear to be the south side. Missing a lot of stuff here. So let me just try to figure out where where I'm looking here. 
Yeah, that's going to be right there. Uh, I can, again, I can see the shadows where there's railing, and there's none right in there. So let's just count arch 1, arch 2, arch 3. This is on arch 4. Uh, again, I'm, I'm going to be asked. I, I could be totally wrong, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that this is arch 4. All right, they just have another uh, another valley view towards the northeast. You can see the nor the Lehigh and uh, the Lehigh and Hudson River right of way, right there. And here we have, here we are looking backwards along the entire bridge. I'm pretty sure this is the far, far end. Um, not quite. So this would be, I believe it would have been something on the order of arch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just say arch seven. It's probably what it was. Mm. And same view, just the same arch seven, but looking, uh, looking uh, westbound. I was on another part of the Lackawanna cutoff ages ago, um, before you know pre-digital, um, and I, I was up there. I, I, it wasn't even like at the bridge; it was somewhere else. I climbed it up. I climbed up like the fill. And I just saw this light, and a, and a, and a guy, a, a pickup truck with a with an, a train air horn in eerie Lackawanna colors just rolled by. Like it's, I, I, you know, I'm sure the guy was a rail fan, but he was also a four wheeler, and he was just driving down the right away. I mean, he, it's definitely living your best life getting to do that. Yeah, one of those dudes with the trucks with the you know air the air locomotive horn. You need all the compressed air for. Uh, and then again, here we just are. In the um, looking uh, uh, to the west, you know, just a west away from the bridge view. And here we have an obstructed east view from the uh, western abutment. So the party piece uh, of the bridge is the fact that you can get down on the arches and uh, there's the, you can fully traverse the bridge from abutment to abutment on the arches using uh, the inspection passage. And uh, I didn't know about this when I came to the bridge. 
um, it was something you just discover. It, it, it just it, there's a there's a way to get on. when I when I've been there every time. There's a way that will get you onto the arch at the uh, at either at, at the uh, at the abutment. They, they they put a tree up. They usually someone will put a tree up or like a little ladder with like little wood. You can call up, you can get on the arch that way because the arch is only about eight feet off the ground at the at the very very corners. But on the bridge deck and the way I first got on the arch was via the bridge deck. Um, where are these manholes uh, in the middle of every arch? And um, I don't know what arch manhole that is, unfortunately. So I can't I can't number it. Some of them are filled in uh, with a lot of debris, but um, um, most of them are not. And if you're ever there, like I said, you these do require a little bit of scooching. You might get a little, yourself a little bit dirty if you use them. Um, if you are so inclined to do so, because it's not a straight, there's not, it's not a straight hole down. When you get into the manhole, there's a little bit of scooch space. Um, it's not ridiculously cramped. Like it's not like you're gonna get stuck unless you're very, very overweight. Um, but you do have to go down there, and then you you maneuver to then go down the uh, to get onto the arch. And uh, you'll see how that works. I think I used a flash for this one. So what um, that little scooch space will get you onto these rungs, and these are original, um, and they were made of rebar, and they were just set in the concrete, and you just you feel out the rungs, and you just go down onto the inspection arch. Now, uh, I, for the life of me, I don't know which arch this is. Um, it's like three or four. It's it's like this one. Or it's this one, and I can't, I can't tell. You know, you can see the little manholes. There's a manhole. There's a manhole. Some of them are kind of filled in. So this could be arch two. Ah, oh, this is this is where I'm like, oh man, I don't remember which arch it was. It wasn't it wasn't one or seven. I don't even think it was uh, four or two. Um. I mean, uh, sorry, six or two. I think it was three, four, or five. And let's see if I. I'm going to use my my existing photos. We got we got this. We got that. This is the same location. Right, I'm gonna. I'm, I know what I'm looking at. I don't want to ruin everything for you guys. So that's an arch. That's a pier. Arch. Pier. arch abutment so then that's arch one pier a arch two pier b arch three okie doke I, see I knew it was three and you can still see the manhole here. Well, there's one there at two. I'm guessing it would have been there. But some of the arches, uh, the manholes did get filled in. So I'm going to go with that assumption because I have nothing else to tell me anything otherwise.
Uh, and you and again, you can see, you know, there's not much that anyone can do besides apply paint. Um, this thing is just, just, just jacked. Uh, and I'm betting that this is heading back, uh, heading eastbound. See, this is where I can go to one of these things. This will give me a count. Oh, man, come on. Don't give me this. All right, we have one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's three, seven uprights. And so there's, there's the keystone upright and then three on each side. Um, this is going to be up, uh, this is going to be arch three upright. I'm pretty sure I am looking back towards the east abutment. So this would be arch three upright three in the eastbound direction. Best I can do. I'm lucky I have enough information, just enough information to tell me this. And wait, maybe I was wrong. Maybe that's westbound. Okay, so as you go down the arch, you start getting um, uh, handholds. So I know that I'm looking at the downbound direction here. The question is, am I looking um, eastbound or westbound? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I could try to go by sun angle. I'm pretty sure I'm on the east east side. So the first one wasn't eastbound, it was westbound. But the next one is westbound. Yeah, so. I hope I'm right. I mean, there's no way to, to really know or care. All this graffiti's been painted over. Probably many, many, many times over by now. But here we are on the other, the opposite side of that portal. So this is upright three, and I'm pretty sure that this is going to be south. So it's arch three, upright three, south side, westbound. If this is a navy, see this is why the navy's navy ships have that like compartment numbering system. Because otherwise, you just you're not going to know where you are. I mean, otherwise, you, it, it just turns into a long string of descriptions. All right, uh, and this is the other side. Just some cute art. Arch three, upright three, north side, westbound art in this little soft. There we go. All right, just halfway done. Plus or minus. All right, let's see if we got any uh, any uh, comments here. Yeah, 
No, I don't. I don't mind. It's uh, I, I know people who have uh, actually been able to uh, bootstrap a, a pretty a pretty th thriving street art um, uh, profession, um, and so I, it definitely works. And they're pretty good artists too. They went around from applying. Um, uh, they don't just do tag stuff. They do actual art. You know, they, 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 they got a Twitter, they got a bunch of followers, they were tagging stuff, they were putting stuff up around Boston and Denver and whatnot, and as time went on, they did they do less and less stuff on public things, and more and more stuff that they sell for $1,000. So they've switched more to, you know, less putting stuff on random places, but for, for a good year, they were just running all over the place, putting art on things, tweeting about it, and then eventually... Um, they, uh, they got enough notoriety to, um, uh, to start selling their stuff routinely. So here we are in the Pier B, um, area. So again, I'm working on my assumption of, of where I'm at, um, which I'm pretty sure is correct. So we started at Arch 3. Which I'm, I am pretty confident that's where you were. I, I wasn't above the creek. We're now in Pier B. So the neat part about the piers is they're hollow. Um, and you can walk through. It's not only that there's a passage through them. They are completely hollow. So I'm going to make the assumption that I am looking um, upbound uh, here in Pier. Um, well, there's an arrow pointed that way. So I'm not entirely sure. Let's look at this other one. Yeah, you can't really see beyond that. So I'm going to just go in my normal direction. Um, I'm going to say that this is westbound. Not the greatest photo, but it works. Well, maybe not. Hold on. Let's frame this better. Okay, Arch 3, uh, sorry, that's not Arch 3, it's Pier B. See, I already have some Pier B stuff from above. Uh, Pier B. West. Entrance. Westbound. Soft. There we go. And I immediately went to go get a photo of the other side here, which uh, I'm going to make the assumption is the the east entrance in the eastbound direction. Some people, oh, even in the, in the early 2000s, people locals had left ropes and stuff to help you climb get through it. Uh, and like I said, the, the, the art zones, the piers, are completely hollow. This one was dry on the inside, had an amount of trash, but not an overwhelming amount of trash. Uh, you can still see there's also plenty of bare concrete, although I'm not sure if someone had come in and put that black coat of paint to cover over previous markings. But the original concrete is still, uh, uh, you know, very, uh, just, just sitting there bare, looking fantastic. Um, and you'll, you'll see how much more fantastic it gets. Whoop, what did I... Oh, I know what I did. What the frick did I just do? Okay. Um, again, yeah, this is just a, um, a photo I could get with a flash on my little bitty camera. Of uh, just the the upright of uh, just just how neat this thing is inside. Oh, and the echo, this the acoustic. I don't know if this you know if it's good acoustics or bad acoustics, but the echoes in these chambers are amazing. 
Oh, it's really neat. It's it's like the plenum. Oh, when you're in the plenum of the turnpike, the abandoned PA turnpike. Same effect. Uh, and here we are, a straight up, uh, looking straight up at the uh, at the at the roof of the pier. I mean, there's a lot of bridges that have this sort of stuff in them too. I was in Dallas uh, a couple years ago. There's an arch bridge down there, and there there are homeless people living on the arch. You can still see all the uh, the concrete forms too. Really neat. Oh, I think this is the opposite side. Yeah, it is because uh, I can tell from that water stain. Still pretty cool. Yeah, oh, just I just it's so neat in here. I really got to go visit again. I'm just never around. I'm never. I don't ski in the Poconos. Really, I don't really ski that much at all. Uh, this is just the opposite side. This is not my first dance uh, on this, by the way. Like I said, I had gotten in here before. Uh, I even, I said, I took my yearbook photo. Uh, I'll show you the location where that was. Pier B. Now, of course, yeah, I can't tell which side is which. I could make a guess, but I really can't tell. Unless I, I, there's nothing that would explain it unless I went back. Okay, now we're on the top of Arch 2. Now, I I knew enough from when I was here that the, that the graffiti had changed significantly since my first um, trip. Um, now where am I? I think this is the key arch. So this would be upright four. Now the question is, am I facing, you know, which side am I facing? From this key, I can see that bridge thing. Yeah, this is the south side. The other side is the north side. Um, I can see the light coming in. That's where the sun would be coming up on the hill. So I'm not 100% certain. But it's going to be arch 2, upright 4, north side, westbound, eastbound, art, monkey art. And the next one, see that J-Town, 9, 12, 0, 2. Super, super, uh, super contemporary graffiti tagging there. Um, this is going to be Pier 4 South Side Art. Not soft. So there we go. I see. You can, again, the, 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 all the form, all the wood form lines are all over the place. Uh, so, okay, Pier A was full of water, but because we had winter back then, it was all frozen. So I've been in here when it's not. You can see someone put up a cable to help people get across this one. Um, but, so this is what I'm, this is, this is something that I'd be, I don't worry about the people. What I worry about is this Pier A full of water, um, expanding, doing freeze thaw on the concrete. But at the same point, it's not like it's contained, so hopefully it just rises and falls. This this water was solidly frozen. Uh, and I'm betting that I, I, I took this photo looking, um, uh, looking um, e eastward. Here. 
here A. I'll call that a water hazard. Just, it was solid ice. You think, oh, it's in, you know, it's inside a concrete thing that's a heat, blah, 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 blah. It's only going to be like a centimeter thick. Nah, that was solid. Solid ice all the way through. Really cool. Um, I even, oh, hold on. Not a lot of, uh, it's, it did keep it clean because all any trash would have sunk to the bottom. Oops, screwed that up. Let me do this again. There we go. Alrighty. Um,. Before I go back to the chat, I want to do actually one more little photo here because it's in the set. Uh, I actually made a point to go and uh, I, I did test my weight on it and it was fully solid. I walked around the whole thing. So there's just there's my foot uh, testing that ice. I think I remember those shoes. Alrighty. Um, okay, doke. Well, this does its thing. Let's check out the chat. Maybe did anybody else show up? Uh, no one else is talking. Yeah, yeah. It's it's. It, it's one of those things where I'm not like, uh, oh, you know, it's like, you know, 90% of the of tagging stuff is uncreative, but there's a degree that is. And for a lot of things, at least it's applying a coat. <laughs> I always feel like depending on the situation, it's at least applying a coat of paint. Um, I definitely don't like it on stuff where, you know, it's it's non-derelict. But um, if there's going to be a, if, the, if a structure is truly derelict and abandoned and there's nothing... Um, there's 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 a surface that that doesn't have anything otherwise worth that's not um, that's not worth preserving or is 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 is, is vulnerable to destruction. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go and judge people. Um, e even the, the 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 you know the the basic tagging types. Like I said, it's uh it's applying a coat of paint uh, for free. Um, that at some point uh, it'll get it'll get uh, it'll get dealt with by you know someone or it'll get knocked down. Uh, no, I am pretty sure that we are now on Arch 1. Um, and this would be upright number 4. Or it would be, I'm just going to say it's the uh, Arch 1 axis. Again, I, I'm... I'm I'm pretty certain that this is Arch 1. Which would put this right over the road. Um, it's also the one that it has the most uh, access, uh, is, is the most accessible. I love, I love this, 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 this ice flow coming in from the manhole and freezing solid in this, this lump. Oh, that's just really cool. So here we are, um, Arch 
one access. Plus ice flow. Uh, here I, I here I am using a. I think I I um I don't think I used a flash on this. It's taking multiple photos. Because I knew that this it was my last stop of the day, so I didn't have to worry about running out. Um, here we are. Now, where is this? Hold on, let me verify this is... I think this is just a different angle. Um, but I'm going to make sure I verify that. No. Ooh. This appears to be different. So I, No, I didn't break it. This is a different thing. Because there's only one manhole per arch. Oh no, I think I miscounted. Crap, I'm gonna have to go back all the way through it and re 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 tag everything. Damn. So I think this is arch number three. See, there's that C there? Because you don't have two manholes in these things. You have one manhole per arch. Um and That would make sense. I love the the dusting of snow here, though. That's pretty neat. Uh, hold on. All right. I don't think I went backwards. So this would change the count, whereas this would be arch four then this would be arch three and then these two see it just doesn't seem right did I break the ice flow but there's that C right there and the O2. And I don't think I broke this ice flow. Damn, this is always so tough. You know what? I might have to take a time out right here. We're about an hour in. Um, next week I have two um, I have two short sessions. So I might just need to go through some of these photos. You see here you here's how most people get in there. Um I might just need to um, I might need to take a timeout now and renumber things and just try to figure out where everything was the best I, to the best I can because um, I was counting these little intermediate zones and I went through there through the dry one past the monkey guy into the wet one then pairs the ice waterfall and and then you know same ice waterfall i think this is a different a different ice waterfall <laughs> and they all seem to be on the uh the western um side so this would be looking west this would also be looking west 
And this is probably also the uh, the first arch. So I might just call this here um, partly incomplete. I'll move these things around, but I just need to be in the situation of knowing what's going on. Uh, because next week I only have, or for the next time I only have, um, 66 photos. So those are two short sets. Um, so I can always push, I can always push stuff to that day. And instead try to find evidence of where things are. See, I can see into the arches on some of the art. Like, is that the monkey guy over there? So, listen, I'm going to go do this research later. Um, let me see if anybody has any questions. I'm just going to call it here. And let me just double check what these uh, what these things are here. Uh, 89 to 103. I can just move this over into the next folder. And we'll do that next week. So, sorry to call the abrupt end here. But I'm going to need to actually do some research uh, to figure things out. <laughs> How close is this? Um, I mean, it's closer than a lot of things. Um, I don't know, 40 miles, 30 miles, something like that. All right. Uh, does anybody have any questions before I head out? Uh, I was making pretty good time there, but... Okay, hold on. Um... See, this is this is all on the opposite side. See, I oh, oh, well, hold on. Three entrance. Yeah, this is. So I I think I tagged this as westbound art. Wait, hold on. Yeah, this would also have to be a westbound thing there. Yeah, okay, so this is already wrong. Um, yeah, that's... that's Oh, damn it. Gotta do a swap a Rooney here. To begin with, that's westbound and eastbound. That's wrong. So the question becomes, what can I see in these, if anything? Just need one, one landmark will will key this whole thing in. So there's this there's that free sign up there. There's whatever that is there. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to figure this out. Dang. All right, anyway, uh, sorry for the delay. I was just trying to see if I can salvage this. Um, I'll, go and, I'll go and check this out. See, I can see there's one of the ice flows right there. So I know that there's an ice flow. And let me try if I can see if I can, I can get that ice flow a little bit wider. Like the original photo. Um, no, I can't. 
but I know I can I can see the ice flow being there. This is where my megapixels are are out. Um, so yeah, that's got to be number two. So can I see an ice flow in arch number one? That's the question. Ugh. Yeah, I, I'm not going to be able to tell. I think this is my best bet. I think that's definitely in arch number two. So, what I was saying is arch one is definitely arch two. So, the other ones have to be before it. I guess I think I did get an off by one error. Um... The monkey guy looks like he's going to be an arch. Is that the monkey art? I don't. I can't tell. So there's one over there, arch two, arch three, and arch four. Arch four is over there, five, six, and seven. All right, all right, I'm going to head out. Sorry, I keep saying that. Uh, do we have any, any last questions? No, so the next two streams are going to be in April. Um, April 2nd, it's going to be a Sunday night and then a Monday. Um, and they we're going to be a little bit shorter. So I'll finish that out. And we're going to have a lot of a bunch of other things, including um, Blairstown Station, Greendell Tower. Oh, they're going to be really short next week. Oh, man, okay. So I don't even have a ton of content. So I, I have less, less than I thought. So, yeah, I'm going to switch this shift this to next week um all right i'll see everybody have a great day thank you for coming on throw me out if you uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, i'll see if i can make sense of uh make sense of that but um uh, we'll get into it next time uh, i apologize for the uh getting lost there leaders